Hello, my name is Christine and welcome to today's video in which we will head to my local Dollar Tree and try and come up with a full weeks of meals for one person for as little as possible. Now, ideally this would be around $10 a week, but I don't know what I'm gonna find. I don't have a game plan, um, so we're just gonna head over there and see what we can see. And if you're interested in more content like this, like extreme, super low grocery budgets, I have a full playlist down below for you, or maybe you wanna subscribe and hang out for future videos. So without further ado, let's head to Dollar Tree. We are here at the Dollar Tree in order to look through all of the food products that I have here at this tiny, tiny little store and hopefully come up with a week's worth of groceries for as little as possible for someone that wants easy cooking, simple meals on a budget. We'll see what we can find. Here are my breakfast options that I found at my Dollar Tree in the non-refrigerated section. So you can get something as small as cream of wheat. The problem with this is that there's only three packets in here, so you would need more than one of these to make that worth it. So for me, this is a no. Another option are the oatmeal packets. There are six in here. So this would not quite make it an entire week. So you're a little shy on the volume, but bold statement, maple and brown sugar, best flavor of instant oatmeal packets. Do you agree or disagree? And if you look here at the total weight, you're looking at nine ounces, so a little over half a pound, in comparison to just the whole one minute quick oats is an entire pound, so almost double this one for the same price. So with these two, I would much rather go with this one, and you can cook this in the microwave exactly the same with your own maple syrup at your house or brown sugar at your house, and it will be just as easy and a lot more bang for your buck. So let's put this one in the cart as a maybe. A few more options is I did find this 12 ounce box of Honey Nut Toasted, well, fake Cheerios, I guess. And this does say eight servings per container. So you could definitely get through an entire week with just cereal every day. And that would be really easy. I saw these blueberry mixes. This only makes six muffins. And I consider that kind of a smallish breakfast. So this is not my favorite option, but it is here. A few more things that I really like is they have grits as an option. This is also a one pound container instead of oatmeal. If you're into that kind of thing, I grew up eating grits growing up in Texas. So I do like this option. You can do pancakes or waffles, just adding water to this container. And it does say 10 servings. So you could probably squeak out about a week's worth of this. And look at that. They do have some pancake syrup as well if you don't have that already at your house. Last but definitely not least is these honey sweet cornbread mix container. And what you can do with this is instead of making muffins or cornbread, although I have no problem with cornbread, is you can make corn <laughs> cornbread pancakes which is something i love so this is also a solid option so let's put these three items in the cart and we'll decide later what we really want to do today at my dollar tree they have a two pound container of long grain white rice they also have brown rice but i'm thinking about doing some kind of like stir fried rice situation so i want the white rice today two pounds for a dollar this is an amazing deal and will go a really long way so this is definitely going to my cart of course right next to the rice here are the beans it just makes sense to get some dried beans because you can make so much with it and it goes such a long way Pinto beans is one pound. The black beans is one pound. And the kidney beans are one full pound. So I think I need to think on this, try and figure out exactly what I wanna do here. I've been putting some things in my cart and I wanted soy sauce, but they don't have any, but they do have this teriyaki marinade to go with my stir fried rice. Is this something I should buy? Is this gonna be disgusting? Or should I just use the soy sauce I already have at my house and add a dollar in case like I did buy it here. I can get it at Walmart for not very much. Kind of wanted to make my own here. I'm gonna think on that, but I did get some chicken bouillon cubes just because these are so good to season anything with. And I did find this one pound of brown cane sugar, which I thought I could make my own <laughs> stir fried rice because I like a little bit brown sugar in mine. I did pick up some eggs right here, spring rolls. These are surprisingly good <laughs> to go with my stir fried rice and some vegetables. I have the peas and carrots and the pepper stir fry right here so I can have some veggies in that. So now I still haven't decided breakfast and now we need to work on dinner. I keep coming back 
to the beans because burritos just sound like <laughs> one of the easiest, truthfully yummy things that we could put together. So let's choose two different beans. I think I'm gonna do pinto and a black bean for our beans for the week. And we are gonna make burritos with our rice and these. And when my husband was in college, this is something he ate every single day. So I think it's really a common food for, I don't know, the standard bachelor. He, if he had burritos every day now, he would be happy. Okay, my friends, I think I have it. I splurged a little bit for some extra protein and vegetables, but I'm looking at 15 bucks. So let's go home, take a look and start cooking for the week. This is my entire grocery haul for the whole week to feed one person for what I was hoping to be $15 and I messed up. It's actually $16. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. I went a little over ambitious to get an extra vegetable here. I did get a few things that I think people already have in their house, but anyway, I did get some chicken bouillon to flavor some of my meals here. And of course I am assuming that you have like salt, pepper, some kind of fat to cook with, whether that's butter or oil or bacon fat or shortening or whatever. So I do need to do a little bit of prep work for my entire week. And that's to cook all of my rice and to start soaking all of my beans so I can go ahead and cook those for my dinners as well. So let's do that right now. Oh, I should have mentioned I splurged on these to go with <laughs> my stir fried rice for all of my lunches for the week. So this is completely not necessary. You didn't have to do this, but these are really delicious. And if you've never tried the spring rolls from Dollar Tree, just cook them up in your air fryer or something. They're shockingly good. These are a little like extra treat. So anyway, $16 to feed one person for the whole week. Okay, I have my entire package of rice in here and I'm gonna add two of these chicken bouillon packages, which I didn't realize were gonna be little powder packets. That makes it pretty convenient just for some salt and flavor in my rice. So the lid's gonna go on this. And I have a white rice button right there. So we'll do that, hit start, and I'll see this in a few minutes. Back here in the corner, I have my beans in very large bowls of just cold water with nothing else. So these are gonna soak overnight, and then I can use them to make my dinners for the week. Yeah, my rice is finished, so I fluffed it with this fork so it wouldn't just get stuck all in there. And it does have a little bit of a yellow tint because of the chicken broth, but I'm gonna let this cool because leftover cooked rice is better for <laughs> fried rice dishes, like a veggie fried rice, like I'm gonna be having for lunches this week. So we're gonna let this cool a little bit, stick it in the fridge, and we will be ready for the week for lunches. Breakfast time, we will use this cornbread mix with the eggs and milk over here, maybe a little bit of water to make cornbread pancakes, which we will then top with our fake maple syrup, pancake syrup right here. So there's no instructions on the back of how to switch it to pancakes, but we'll figure it out, it'll be fine. So go ahead and get out your griddle or skillet or whatever you are going to cook this on, get that preheating and we'll mix this up. I will use this entire package of corn muffin mix, which is right at one pound of mix. And I'm gonna add in <laughs> eggs and milk until I think it's close to what I want, basically. So we'll do three eggs, I think. Can I do two? Be a little out of practice. Ugh. You know, these are medium eggs and not large eggs, so I actually think I'll do four. Four medium eggs or three large eggs, depending on what eggs you have. My Dollar Tree just had the medium size, unfortunately. I think getting your eggs anywhere other than the Dollar Tree is probably a better buy from a cost perspective. So that's just my personal opinion. You guys ever had this like ultra pasteurized um, shelf stable milk when my husband lived in the Dominican Republic. This is the only kind of milk that they drank. So he actually really likes it. Let's start with two cups of milk and then we'll just kind of see what it looks like. I think there's four cups in here. So that's about half the milk we have. And I'm gonna do a little bit of oil, probably just to help it not stick to the pan quite so much. There we go. That's probably a quarter cup quarter cup of oil. We will stir this together and check our consistency. And if our consistency is off a little bit, we can add things, we can take things away. In my area, I find that mixes tend to be very, very dry and I have to add a little bit more liquid. And so as I'm letting this 
sit. This does feel thick to me for a pancake. We'll just go a little bit more milk. And I am gonna cook up this entire batch right now because you can, these store in the fridge really nicely or you can even freeze them in meal prep containers for later on in the week if you don't wanna keep all of them out for seven days. That looks pretty good, so let's move over to our skillet. Okay, here's my big griddle. This is a large family size one. I had, I was asked recently what kind it is. This is the Presto Tilt and Drain. So it goes like that. Big griddle. I think I found it on Amazon. You know you're a real adult when you have a favorite spatula for pancakes. You know what I'm saying? A little drizzle of whatever fat you wanna use. I'm just doing oil today because it's what I had out for the pancakes. My favorite size for pancakes is the one quarter cup. I feel like it makes a nice, a nice size pancake. And why is it that the first batch of pancakes is always like the weirdest shape, the least round? Does it cook the most even? It'll be fine. prep my lunches for the week. I have my cooked and cold leftover rice. I think I'm gonna do this in two batches because I don't know that I could do this entire container in one pan just because it's so much. And I have my frozen spring rolls. You just cook the day of. Rice is really easy to make ahead and then freeze. So you could do this whole batch if you have a bigger pan than I do. Freeze it in individual portions. And I'm gonna use this whole peas and carrots container and this pepper stir fry, but these are too big. So I'm gonna chop these a little bit smaller and get these sauteing in a pan. And we'll use this teriyaki marinade it's, it's not quite <laughs> the right sauce but like i said earlier my dollar tree didn't have any soy sauce today so we're just gonna go with this and hopefully thin it out with some chicken broth ah my finger just kidding that's a joke <laughs> my finger's fine i should have gotten a bigger cutting board though i have a large 14 inch skillet right here that i will add some oil to now if you had a wok that would be better but i don't have one of those so we'll just go with this. In that, I have my peppers and onions right here. I mean, you can tell how many vegetables this is. It takes up almost my whole pan. And my peas and carrots. I'm just gonna cook these until, well, this is on high, but it doesn't seem to be sizzling very much. I will cook these until everything is soft and then we'll throw in our rice, our seasoning, and our eggs. I took out half my vegetables and put them in a container to mix this up fresh later on in the week. So I'm gonna finish up this first half batch by adding a little bit more oil and now my rice. Half of my pre-cooked chilled rice is going in. Come on, rice. This will go to the side with the veggies for later. I made a little well for my eggs and now that I'm looking at it, I don't know that I can fit six eggs in here, <laughs> but we're gonna do the best we can. So a little bit more oil. Let's keep your fingers crossed. Okay, I think they might fit. Everything is now coming together. So I'm stirring in my eggs with all the rice and all the veggies. And this 14 inch skillet is like overflowing. So it's time for our sauce. Ideally, I would have had like ginger and garlic and soy sauce, but I don't have that today. So I'm gonna put in half of my teriyaki marinade or glaze or dressing or whatever it is, uh, cause I wanna save half of it for the later in the week. I will add a little bit of this bouillon here and a little bit of water. I'm just trying to thin it out just a hair. I only did half of this package. So that's the equivalent about one cup of water or broth once it's mixed. So we'll stir all this together, evaporate out any excess liquid and give it a taste. Of course, if you have some chicken in your freezer or canned chicken or something like that, feel free to add that in for a little bit of extra protein and calories. Uh, I'd say this teriyaki's a little on the sweet side and a little goes a long way. I actually think I could add more rice to this to dilute the flavor just a little bit. This is pretty strong. So you do not need to add about as much as I added. The flavor's good, but I might wanna tone it down with a little bit more rice.
This is lunch for the week. My stir fried rice, sort of with teriyaki marinade and two of my little spring rolls. Now there's only 10 in the package, so I can only have two for the first three days and then I have to go down to one spring roll for the remaining four days of the week. But it is a nice little treat, even though it cost me an extra dollar. It is time to make the filling for my burritos and I'm gonna do all of it just all together in this very large mixing bowl and I can freeze half of it and pull it out later in the week or you can make all of your burritos now and freeze the fully made burrito and pull those out later too. So there's a couple different ways you could do this. This is all of the pinto beans that I cooked, the full one pound. Look how many that is. And I have an entire video on all the different ways you can cook dried beans, so I will leave that resource down below for you if you wanna go check it out. I'm gonna check my black beans because I find it difficult, personally, to cook black beans at home in a way that they are soft all the way through. All the other beans I don't have a hard time with, but I'm squishing that one with my finger and you see how it's just squishing really nicely. I know that these are done. So in go all of the black beans. Holy smokes, look at all, the, look at all this food. Now comes my rice and um, a bigger stirring utensil because this little one is just not gonna cut it, I don't think. Okay, this is like way more than I thought there was gonna be. <laughs> I actually think I have too much filling for the amount of tortillas I have. So yay, too much food. When is that ever a problem, right? <laughs> this is so big. <laughs> We're not done, I'm gonna add something else to this. <laughs> but we may just have some like bean and rice bowls for some meals as well. Okay, before I start mixing this like crazy, I am going to add this jar of salsa. This is the only brand that my Dollar Tree had. They do, you can actually get a better deal at Walmart. Uh, buying salsa from Walmart, you get a bigger container for um, a cheaper price per ounce or per like weight unit. Um, and now that this is in, we're gonna try and stir all this together and then just taste for salt. I might add some water into that and get all the rest of this out just for a little bit more moisture and to get every last inch of flavor in this as I can. There is definitely enough of this filling to just have some bean and rice bowls like this for several of your meals. And then we also have the tortillas. So there are 12 tortillas in here. So if you wanted to do maybe three burritos for four days of the week and then three days of just the filling, you could totally do that. And like I said, you can do all of these right now. Go ahead and freeze them and then you can cook them in the microwave later. So it only takes a little bit of prep at the beginning of the week and then you're good to go for like the whole week and you're done. And it's no muss, no fuss. You don't have to think about it anymore. And these are smaller of course, I'm gonna drip it on the counter. These are smaller tortillas, so I'm not gonna be good at doing the edge pieces, but that's okay. You can just do it like this and have a little bit fall out the side like that. And then for me personally, look, both sides. <laughs> for me personally, I like to put a little bit of oil in a skillet and do like a grilled stuffed burrito because it gives it a little bit of crunch, a little bit of extra fat to keep you satiated. Let's review the meals really fast and then we'll talk the numbers, which is one of my favorite things because I'm a little bit of a numbers geek. I love data. I love analyzing it. First of all, the cornbread pancakes were so good. Like I'm gonna have to make those from now on, like way more often. <laughs> Just from that little mix. I'm gonna go buy a few more of those mixes. They were delicious uh, Could not say enough good things about them Obviously if you want the ingredients to be a little cleaner you would do like a real maple syrup I grew up having cornbread and stuff with honey all the time So that's also an option although those do cost more and then the stir-fried rice was so good the flavor of the little marinade packet was intense. I, I wish I had gone on the light side and then added more as I needed it. I actually ended up with still a half a bottle almost of that marinade that I still have on hand as well as some chicken broth. I still have some of that. And although it did cost more to get the little spring rolls, they were just so fun to have this little crunchy little bite uh, with the lunches. And then the dinners made so much. I could not believe how much food that made. I had leftovers of the beans and rice mixture well over three meals a day for seven days for one person like it was just so much food because i miscalculated my 
dollars like what I spent. I spent $16 for 21 meals for the week breaks down to 76 cents per meal, which I think is a great price, honestly. And I could have brought that a little bit cheaper if I had not gotten the spring rolls, if I had not splurged for the extra vegetables, and if I had done something as basic as oatmeal instead of trying to come up with a pancake with eggs on the side and syrup, the breakfast definitely added up as far as ingredients go. I don't really regret it. I also added up all of the calories for the entire week, not including the oil that I used. So if you do not include the oil, the calorie content of all of the food that I purchased divided by the 21 meals for the week came right at 600 calories per meal. 600 for breakfast, 600 for lunch, 600 for dinner. We're sitting at right at 1800 calories a day which you are definitely not going to starve on. As always, a quick reminder that if you are in need of food, you or anyone that you know, please have them reach out to your local resources in order to get the services that are available to you. This could be a, a food bank, a food pantry, meals for seniors. There's all kinds of programs in every community. I believe you can get that information by dialing 211. I know if you reach out to your school district, police department, community, city offices, they will have that information for you. And a lot of these don't require any income verification. You just go when you need stuff, go ahead and pick it up, bring it home and feed your families. Please don't be scared to use them. That is what they are there for. As always, thank you for hanging out with me today. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.